Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Dodge Challenger SXT Plus. Now this is a V6 and I know what you're thinking, but it is definitely an awesome car. Uh, the V6 has 300 horsepower and you know paired with the 8 speed torque flight transmission it, it's just an awesome vehicle and it gets 30 miles per gallon on the highway so I mean you've got a muscle car with good gas mileage and um, so I, I really like the V6 in these cars one of the best things about this car I mean I, I really like the black um, the pitch black color but uh, it has a black interior with the black exterior really shiny it just got cleaned up and um, I really like this wheels with this uh, this color and it's all aluminum wheel it's an aluminum alloy wheel with the the graphite insert I wouldn't say inserts but it has like this graphite color here with the polished aluminum Definitely looks good on this car. Yep, see up here we've got the um, projector headlights as well as fog lights, the high beam and the low beam. And let's see if I'm gonna go ahead and push the lock button. Just so you can see what the maybe see a little bit of what the, the lights look like you can check out my video 2015 Dodge Challenger at night so you can see kind of you know what it looks like on the inside and outside the, the Challenger because that's a really interesting look with halo halos around the headlights as well as a split LED rear tail lights push the button again maybe you can see and it's hard to see because the Sun but anyway you can check out that video so this has the proximity key so I'm just gonna put the key in my pocket and uh, and it's got the backup camera here but you can push this little button here since I have the key in my pocket I can access the trunk it's got plenty of room back here those back seats do fold down so you need, in case you need some more room Also, let me lift this up too as well. This is where you'll find your spare tire. Now, some of these cars don't have a spare tire, so you definitely want to check to see if you have one, if you want one. Some of them have the speakers in here. Some of them just have storage space. But just kind of, if you're in the market for a Challenger, make sure, or any new vehicle really, uh, you want to make sure that the vehicle has a comes with a spare tire, if you want one. Here's the fuel cap, retro look. Tinted glass would look really awesome in this car. Has heated side mirrors. So you can tell by that little symbol there. And here's the inside of the, the front door. Now this one has a sound group two sound system and uh, get a little bit of glare from the sun, but this is it. It's got some stitching here. You got your window controls, door lock controls, and side mirror controls. Bottle, bottle holder there. Sound group 2, Alpine sound system. Sounds really good. The subwoofer is just below the back glass back there. You can't see it from either side, so, or I'll show you it to you. But got automatic headlights. Some power controls on the seat. In order to lift the seat up, kind of have to, is a manual thing. But back here, here's the back seat. You have the leather seats with the perforated leather in the middle. Now it's not a huge amount of leg room, if any leg room, back here when the seats are all the way back. It does have some, some vents there.
really comfortable seats and it's not the type of leather that kind of grips you can kind of slide around on easy pretty easy which I like that's that's my favorite thing about leather seats is that you can slide around and get comfortable all right so the sun's like right in my face so I'm gonna reposition the vehicle now to start it you put your foot on the brake the bright pedals by the way and push the button since I have the key in the vehicle I can do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive and just kind of swing it around there we go I just pull it up that building blocks the Sun so we're good to go all right so here's the steering wheel it has electronic control and it tilts up and down as well as it's a telescope or two it's leather wrapped has these little grips right here and there it has a round bottom you have your cruise controls on that side on the back you have a volume control on the other side you can change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel here's your Bluetooth where you can answer it and hang up your phone voice recognition you can go to a certain station you can call somebody stuff like that on the voice recognition there's the gauges now they have like a retro style I'm gonna get a little closer here so you can see that the gauges have a little bit of a concave look to them to give them like a retro look. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks pretty cool. Now it has a center screen right here, and that's controlled with these buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. And I'm just gonna, right now it's in a speedometer menu system, uh, speedometer. So I'm gonna scroll down. This is the vehicle info, and I can kind of cycle through that using the right arrow get different information um, tire pressure stuff like that so I'm going to scroll back down now this is the performance it has a braking distance and it has a 0 to 60 mile per hour timer so pretty cool fuel economy um, of course that's skewed because the vehicle only has a few miles on it but this is where you would be able to get your average as well as your current and your range like how long how, how many more miles can you drive before putting gas in the car trip info there's your trip A trip B scrolling down again reveals the audio whatever your radio is doing messages will be stored there and your screen setup this is where you can go in and uh, change what you want on the screen like say you notice that little little light popped up there upper left upper right you can change what you want to put there like say upper right I'm gonna push the right arrow and click OK I mean and right now it's showing outside temperature but I can change that to compass if I want to or I can change it to the time range whichever I want average miles per gallon current miles per gallon trip or none compass I'm gonna put it back to outside temperature all right so that's you know just gonna give you an idea that there's some customization here in your um, gear display in your menu system the way this screen is you can set it up the way you want Scrolling back down, goes back to the speedometer. And the buttons I were push, I was push, pushing right there, is right here. Your OK and your and your arrows. That corresponds with that menu system. Your wipers are on this side. You do have a trunk release there, as well as some dimmer switches. One is for your gauges and your screen. The other one is to kind of fine tune the um, the ambient light in the vehicle. There's dimmer switches here is what I'm talking about you have automatic headlights like I mentioned before and then you push this button in in order to turn on the fog lights all right moving on to the touch screen this is the uh, 8.4 Uconnect system 
you can upgrade it to uh, have navigation if you want it to. There is a, a charge for that. Right now we're in a net radio. It has AM, FM, and satellite radio. The satellite radio is for one year free when, with a new vehicle. And go in here to media. This is where you have your USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and SD card inputs, which I'll show you those in a second. But that's where you will um, control those. You can plug in your device and play music off of that. Controls. This vehicle has heated and ventilated seats as well as a heated steering wheel. This is where you'll control that those. Also your rear view mirror is auto dim, dim rear view mirror. So you can turn that on and off there. Settings, you can go in there and kind of set certain things like how you want the doors to unlock, um, things like that. I'm just going to push that just so you can kind of see what, what there is there. There's a lot of stuff. Alright, now moving on to climate. The climate control is off, so I'm going to turn that back on. And see, I can adjust the fan speed, where I want the air to blow. Um, I can adjust the temperature on both sides. I can also sync the uh, the temperature for both sides. So that's where your climate would be. Phone. This is where once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you'll have a your phone book, recent calls. You'll be able to dial. You'll have some favorites there at the top, and uh, you can make make send and receive phone calls here. Now, if you're in a phone call and you want to transfer it back to your cell phone for privacy, you can hit the transfer button. Here in the uh, Uconnect apps, this is requires a registration, but um, you know you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go right here to show you where it says via mobile. Some of these apps use your data on your cell phone. So if you have a limited data pack, then you kind of want to make sure that you pay attention to those. All right, there's your start button. Now, if you just want to listen to the radio, you can push um, without starting the engine. You can leave your foot off the brake, push that button, and it'll turn the uh, just the electronics on. Pushing the brake and holding it while pushing the button starts the engine. Now here's your volume control, another button for that and tune through the stations. Now the sport mode, if you push that, this little green flag appears up here on your screen and uh, basically that's telling the car that you want to focus more on performance than fuel economy. So that's basically what that is for. And this is your parking sensors. You can turn those off if you want to. Uh, basically, if you if you put it in reverse, which I'm going to go ahead and do now, put it in reverse. Not only do you have your backup camera show up here, but also your parking sensors on the back of the vehicle. So if I back up to something, it's going to start beeping at me if I get too close to so make sure I don't hit it. And I'll you know I can see here in the backup camera what I'm about to hit. Now, if you want, if you know you're going to get close to something, and you're just tired of the beeping. You can turn that the beeping off. And once you turn it off, it says Park Sense off. And that way, you know that it's off. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park, and then the backup camera goes away. You have some redundant buttons here for your climate control. It's basically the same as in the screen, except for you have actual controls. And now the shifter, now I've showed you shifter on putting it in reverse. Now, you know, it's just like a normal shifter, reverse, neutral, and then drive. And then now that I'm in drive, I can slide it over like that. And then you see where the M lights up. And then you see the M lights up here. Now, I can use it like a ratchet shifter and bump it forward and back, just like a ratchet shifter. And when I do that, I'm changing through the gears. And you can see on the screen that I'm, you know, changing through the gears. Now, I'm not it's not going to let me just cycle through eight gears. Like right now, um, I'm going to pull it down, go to first, second, 
and then that's it it won't let me start off in second gear so it's not going to let you like mess up the transmission it's just a suggestion when you're driving now um, if you're driving if you're driving normally and you're staying within a certain range it'll let you cycle through just like a manual transmission and slide it to the right and then put it back in park pretty cool shifter it's very comfortable and it kind of reminds me of the old t-handle shifter ratchet shifter type thing just a modern version of that you got a little pocket there cup holders here and they do have some ambient light you should see them at nighttime check out my nighttime video and then you've got like this looks like a carbon fiber type stuff here look around the edge and I like this part right here it kind of looks like the 71 Challenger all right this lifts up and this is where the auxiliary input USB and, S and SD card inputs are for your radio so you can plug stuff in there and um, you got your Dodge Brothers symbol there and this is a felt line pocket so you can put stuff in there as well see if you can see that lockable glove compartment now you've got a com felt line compartment here as well as some like little shelves in there as well usually it put the uh, owner's manual up in the top part auto dim rear view mirror like I was saying before now it has a 911 button here and an assistance button there that's where you push your assistance button and you can register your Uconnect system just by talking to somebody over the, over the phone through the car. Garage door controls are here. Tap lights are there. Place right here to put your sunglasses. The visors have mirrors and lights as well as like a little slider thing to give you a little bit extra block the sun. Let's check out the window sticker. It's a Challenger SXT Plus. Thirty miles per gallon. And it is a really strong, powerful engine, and, call, and the transmission just makes it that much better. It's not a slow car at all, especially for its size. You got a charger and a pocket on this side. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Three point six liter VVT variable valve timing that gives you the gas mileage and the performance at the same time. I wish they would like not have plastic covers on top of engines. It just kind of, it's one of my, I don't really care for that because it takes away from the whole point of popping the hood. But anyway, if you have any questions or anything, let me know um, in the comments. Also, my email address is in the, uh, is in the description in case you want to contact me. I really like the new 2015 style Challenger. It's one of my favorite cars. All right, see you next time.